Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys the main websites I use to find homebrew apps and emulators for my PSP. So if you guys want to follow along, all you want to do is just connect your PSP to your PC like normal. So just go and select USB connection, and then I will show you guys all of the websites that I get my apps from. So there are basically four websites I use to find um, the PSP homebrew apps. Um, the first one here is just GBA Temp. Now this one probably isn't the best, um, it's more of a forum. Um, this is the PSP Hacking and Homebrew section. Now there are some things on here, quite a lot of PlayStation Vita stuff ends up on here. Um, as you can see like Hencore and stuff like that, obviously that's not for the PSP. But you sometimes can find interesting stuff um, like battery checks, um, you can get like applications and stuff that you can install. And yeah, there there's quite a few things on here. Most of the stuff on here is quite old. There's also quite a few things for the PPSS PP Android app, but you can sometimes find applications on this website. So I will leave all of these linked in the description if you guys want to check them out and maybe find something. Next one I use is Brewology. Now this one is a bit old and there aren't really any new apps. I think like the newest on here you can get is 2014, but there is some stuff on here. As you can see, we've got Flappy Bird on here, and Minecraft PSP. The, yeah, most of the stuff on here is quite old, but you can find some kind of like unique homebrew games um, that you probably wouldn't find on other websites so if you want to search this one I will leave this one in the description as well this one does have a ton of emulators on um, as you can see it's got Neo Geo on here uh, Dragon 32 not even sure what some of these things are um, but there's tons and tons of emulators okay the next website I use is PSX place this one is quite good because this one does actually have some like newer stuff on obviously the PSP is quite old now not many people are developing for it anymore um, there's probably like one you think a month you know if we're lucky that is but there is some stuff on here as you can see um, this stuff does get updated so it looks like RetroArch actually had an update recently Pico Drive that was on January 28th actually CM File Manager I've already made a video on that that's fairly new as well and yeah there's quite a few new things on here this is probably one of the better ones so if you want to check this out I would definitely recommend it and the last website I actually use is PSP Scene Beta now this one is actually in Spanish so you will need to translate it using Google Translate if you only speak English but this does have um, a few things on here now the PSP and PS Vita section are kind of like merged together not quite sure why but if you scroll back a bit you can start to find some of the PSP stuff and there's some things from like 2017 on here um, so yeah you can just scroll down you can find everything and yeah, there's a few homebrew apps like this, a few games um, that you might not be able to find on other websites. So these are basically all of the four main websites I use, um, PSP Scene Beta and PSX Place and the most recent ones, they're um, up and kept running pretty much. There is also a PSP Reddit. Now I don't really use um, this Reddit too much because it's mostly um, people talking about like where they've bought their PSPs from and stuff and um, like problems and stuff and game collecting. So obviously I'm more into the homebrew side of it but I will leave a link in the description of this um, if you want to check it out as well. And um, yeah, so I'll leave all these links in the description but what I'm gonna do now is just find a homebrew game. Let's get one off here. Let's get the latest, hmm, let's see, what should we get on here? Let's just get some random homebrew game, maybe like this. Ragic, the homebrew game. Um, so if you do want to download of any of these websites, they're fairly simple. You just basically look for the download link. On PSX Place, there is one right here. On the rest of them, it's quite simple. So let's just download this now. I will be copying this across to my PSP in a second. Um, let's just have a look at the other websites. On this, you can literally just select something. Scroll all the way down and the download links will be around here. On this, um, you pretty much just click on it and then you can download file. And on the um, GBA temp, you just need to find the download links um, inside of the forums. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the PC. Let's go and copy across um, the app we downloaded onto our PSP. So now once your PSP is connected, we can actually copy across the homebrew app which we downloaded. So let's just double click on the zip file and we should be able to find it in here. It should be inside of this PSP folder. So what we can do, double click on that, double click on the game folder and here it is. Whatever is in here, you will need to drag into your PSP's game folder. You should know how to do this anyway. And then once that is copied across, we have now got the homebrew app on our PSP. So obviously you need custom firmware for this, but that is it for the computer. So we can now go back onto our PSP and let's test out this homebrew game. 
Okay, so I'm back on our PSP. Let's just test out that app I got. We can just press circle to close out this message. And let's just find the app somewhere on our memory stick. So it should be somewhere on here. Uh, let's just look for it. Here it is right here. Wagic the homebrew. I have no idea what this is. So let's just open it. Okay, so we can select English. I think this might be a card game or something. I'm not too sure. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And basically, this is how you just get homebrew apps um, from the best websites and then copy them across to your PSP. This also works on the PSP Go, and this pretty much works on every custom firmware. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.